Husband murders new wife of six months after she finds out that he's into men. This is the story of Alicia Lofton, a beautiful mother of three who was gunned down by her newly wedded husband, Marcus Lofton. Few wow. months into their marriage, Alicia served him divorce papers after she found evidence that he was having affairs with other men. A day after Whoa! he got the divorce papers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought, I thought this was about to say women. Men? This is crazy. Like, I feel it like, but dang, that's crazy, man. What? Into their marriage, Alicia served him divorce papers after she found evidence that he was having affairs with other men. A day after he got the divorce papers, he lost his cool and could no longer hold it together anymore. He got so upset with her for trying to break up with him then tracked her down, took her gun from her then shot her with it. Hello what? and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids is a city located on the Grand River about 40 miles east of Lake Michigan. Grand Rapids is the second largest city in Michigan. It is often referred to as Furniture City, a vibrant and thriving city located in the western part of the state. Known for its strong economy, rich history, and diverse culture, Grand Rapids has established itself as a sought-after destination for both residents and visitors alike. Alicia Danielle Lofton was a beautiful mother of three, she loved her kids to the fullest. She was said to be a high-spirited woman who always loved and cared for everyone around her. She made people laugh and she was just a great person overall to be around according to her family members. Her son just graduated from high school, he was on his way to Grand Valley while her oldest daughter is in her last year of college, her last daughter is in high school getting ready to graduate too. They loved her so much and she loved them too. Alicia Damn. was someone who believed in love, she wanted to be married and wanted to be a great wife. Alicia had been in a relationship with a young man named Marcus Lofton. So I, I wonder, is this like the child's father? You know, her children's father or just was the boyfriend. Beautiful lady. Is, really. You want to just watch them do this? Unfortunately, union of Mr. and Mrs. Lofton was expected to be very great and nice, but that was not what happened unfortunately. Even though they shared some nice moments during their marriage like this video is about to be shown, it ended up becoming a tragedy. Marcus was posting weird things on Facebook. In one of his posts, he said, if you ever get locked up, you might as well cancel your relationship and sleep peacefully my dog. These people is embarrassing. He would go ahead to post some other crazy things to Facebook. <laughs> After a while, Alicia got a hint that his new husband is having an affair with a guy. That's so crazy. You would never guess. You would have thought that they homeboys, like that they, they grew up or something like they like partners. That's dangerous, man. Like women, I, I know y'all probably hate situations like that. So like not only do you gotta worry about like, okay, my man going out and might see a, a good looking woman, but like when a nigga saying that this is homeboys and the whole time is something else, they just gotta be sick, man. She went ahead to confront him which he denied but she showed him all the receipts she has then proceeded in filing for divorce. She stated some of her concerns too on her Facebook post before her page was deactivated, she also went live talking about it according to some people who follow her.
Alicia served Marcus divorce papers on August 16, 2023, and also told him she was selling the house. On August 17, Marcus went to the house to have a chat with Alicia even though he had been arrested in May for domestic violence against his wife who he wasn't supposed to be in contact with in any capacity, but he did anyways. Upon arriving at the house a day after he was served divorce papers, they started arguing about one or two things and one thing led to the other, he grabbed Alicia's gun, a Glock, from a drawer and tried to strike her with it as he usually does during the marriage but the gun wow. went off striking Alicia according to his account. This is the same gun seen in the video of them dancing together earlier. She had it on her waist all throughout the video. Oh. Alicia was able to run into a room where she locked herself but Marcus didn't give up. He broke the door then found Alicia trying to climb down a window to escape. He didn't bother to save her but decided to do what he thought was right which was shooting her more and more. Wow. He shot her multiple times before he thought it was enough then her jumped into his car and fled. The cops were called to the scene but it was too late, Alicia was pronounced dead at the scene of the crime. Marcus wow. was later apprehended by the police. He would also confess to the crimes and told them how he shot her numerous times. There was another shooting nearby but the police quickly ruled out any connection in both cases on Grand Rapids South Side. The incidents taking place this morning within hours of one another. News 8's Demetrius Sanders spoke with the sister of one of the victims. He shares their message. The most recent of the two shootings happened at a home on Union Avenue Southeast at around 8 this morning, claiming the life of a woman. Tonight, that woman's sister says she's shocked about the situation. A morning of violence in Grand Rapids. At around 1.40 a.m., officers say a man was shot on Burton Street Southwest between Division and Buchanan. He later died at the hospital. Just more than six hours later, a woman was killed after shots were fired on Union Avenue Southeast near Oakdale. Police say they don't believe the two incidents are connected, and the second shooting was likely a domestic incident. Her best friend called me and was literally hysterical, and I'm jumped up what's going on what's wrong and she said my sister is gone and I'm like what are you talking about you know like I just talked to my sister a couple days ago what's, what are you talking about I get here she's already gone Cassie White says it was her older sister that died during the shooting on Union Avenue I'm just so lost for words I can't cry I'm crying out I this hits home she declined to identify her sister but says she was a mother of three with the heart of gold. My sister was fun, she was goofy. She, she, she liked to go out, have a good time, very well dressed. She loved her kids, make sure her kids was intact and ordered before she did anything. White says, man, I feel sorry for her, man. Says her sister was in a relationship and she surprised domestic violence may have been involved in her death. It was very shocking because I could never, you know, see that type of thing being, you know, something my sister would, you know, be dealing with. While talking with News 8, White says she's keeping in mind the many people impacted by that type of violence. It's becoming too common nowadays in Grand Rapids, let alone Michigan. It's not fair. It's not fair. She says her sister was known by many, and this is a big loss. I love my sister, and I'm definitely going to miss her. Marcus Durail Lofton was arraigned Friday, August 18th on charges of open murder and felony firearm. He is held in jail without bond. This is a very sad case for everyone involved, especially her kids who would never get to see their mother ever again. Facts. And it's so messed up because, I mean, he in jail is probably what he really wanted to be anyway. Like, he got an infinite, infinite uh, uh, booty band is going on in there. So he might actually might enjoy this. He's like, man, I mean, shoot, like, my time go fly. He, it ain't going to be hard transition for him. I'm positive. Sad, man. Family is sharing their grief tonight after a Grand Rapids mother was shot and killed last week. According to court records, the suspect is in custody. It's the man she was trying to divorce. Our Julie Dunmeyer joins us with more. Julie. Yeah, Josh and Max, family tells me it's hard for them to even hear Alicia Lofton's full name because she shares the same last name with the man who allegedly shot and killed her. Loved ones saying their main focus right now is on the three children she leaves behind. Loving, outgoing, high spirited, um, give you the claws off her back, love their kids, um, love life. This is Alicia Lofton, pictured here with her three children. My oldest niece is graduating college next year. 
and her mom's not going to be there. She's going to be looking in the crowd to see her mom. It's going to suck that wow. my nephew isn't going to Grand Valley for his first year, and he's looking for his mom to be there. It's going to suck. Wow. Dang, they just hit. They just hit hard. I ain't going to lie. They just, they just made my stomach drop. Shorty is graduating, and he's going to college. Just imagine. Just imagine. Uh, those are two big milestones that their mother can't even be present for. That is, that is sad, man. That is sad. Suck for my youngest niece in high school who's not going to have her mom to pick out her prom dress. And Alicia's loss will be felt long after she's gone, says Faustino Garcia, the family spokesperson. Terrible. Very terrible. Um, growing up, Alicia was like a sister to me. A sister, now gone. Court records say on August 17th, Alicia was killed by multiple gunshot wounds to her head and body. Alicia's husband, Marcus Lofton, now in jail, charged with open murder for her death. These kids have lost their mother. They lost their matriarch. They lost somebody that cared for them. And, and that's where I want the light shed on more as not being shed on that guy. Court right. records give Fox 17 a better idea about the final moments of Alicia's life. Marcus allegedly told officers he'd been served divorce papers and an argument followed. During the argument, Marcus told officers he tried to hit Alicia with her own Glock, but the gun went off. Next, Alicia reportedly locks herself in a bedroom. Marcus told officers he broke down the door, found Alicia crawling out of the bedroom window before he opened fire. Definitely a tragic loss because of the tragic story behind it as well. According to court records, Marcus and Alicia are said to have had a history of domestic violence wow. during their time as a married couple. Wow. The two were married in February, but just a few months later in May, Marcus was arrested for domestic violence, accused of harming Alicia. Court he ain't never liked women. He ain't never liked women, bro. That, that was his goal. It just was a cover up for him. And that's why he thought it probably was liable to put his hands on women. He probably wouldn't put his hands on a dude like that. Like he like he like men, so he you probably was his outlet of, of I wouldn't even just say just, just say frustration, but yeah, probably was the outlet of, of of getting out his frustration physically. Sad, cause she was a very beautiful woman, man. Records say he wasn't supposed to have contact with Alicia, a condition of his bond from the May arrest. Family saying the hardest hit by all of this are Alicia's three children. To find out that your mother was tragically murdered. Um, my oldest niece is 22, my um, nephew is 19, and then her youngest daughter is 14. So they're, they're handling it as best as they can. Family hoping this tragedy shines a light on domestic violence and the loved ones left behind. We shed some light on, you know, domestic violence, you know. Um, I know it's tough for a lot of women to speak out, but just speak out on it. Family members decided to set up a GoFundMe account to help the kids with their school activities. A very sad and tragic case which could have been avoided, if it was true that he was with other men, he could have left her to be with other men or even it isn't, he could have just taken then divorce and moved on with his life instead of acting cowardly. We Thanks. hope Alicia Lofton gets Dang. the justice she deserves. Look how beautiful she is, y'all. Lost her life, man, to somebody. He knew, he knew that he lost that. He knew that he lost it. That's why he was mad. He didn't want nobody else to have it, but bro, you couldn't eat like what? You wanted men. What is it that you wanted, bro? Serves. This is another sad case bringing to light the issue of domestic violence and what we should be looking out for. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Alicia Lofton. May Alicia's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video. That's facts, man. Y'all yeah, be safe out here, man. Like, they said they, they got to go fund me set up, so I will try to link it down below. If anybody, um, if it's still up, if anybody want to show some love, then please donate to the family. You know, um, anything, I know a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, anything could help with just them in life because... I mean, if they were living with their mother and, you know, it was possibly a reason, but, you know, they're adults now who have to not only go through the rest of their life, just, you know, with, 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 with of course, some health, but it's just a little different when they're in this big milestone era of the woman who raised them their entire life can't even also enjoy that because a coward took their life. You get what I'm saying? But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this down below, man. I do hope if you all enjoyed this reaction video that you would do me a huge favor and hit that like button, man. Remember... 
one like equals a thousand prayers and just even justice, you know, that's properly served. And I feel I ain't talking about that with the judge going to handle. I'm talking about what's going to happen when he's in there. You know what I'm saying? But until then, man, I see you all tomorrow, man. Prayers out.